Okay class, today what we're going to do is we're going to solve systems of equations by elimination. So last video we did by substitution and you're literally just substituting one inside the other. Well, when we do it by elimination, our equations are set up with x and y on the same side of the equal sign. Um, if they aren't like that and you prefer the elimination, you can just move it right or left on into the correct position. So x's and y's are all on one side of the equal sign, constant number is on the other side. So what we're going to do when we look at this one, we have 3x minus 2y equals 12, and then we have 7x plus 2y equals 8. So it's still the same idea. What we're doing is we're trying to find the one point where both of these lines will cross. Well, if you do it with graphing, that's one way, um, but if it's not an exact value, then it's a little bit harder to pick up what the x and the y value is. Um, when it's set up like this, then we can um, do what's called elimination. So what we're doing is we're looking for one of the variables that we can literally eliminate, we just get rid of. Well, when I look at this, when I have a negative 2y and a positive 2y, if I have the same thing, one negative, one positive, then I can eliminate that by adding. So if I go through and I add these um, columns, so 3x plus 7x is 10x, negative 2y plus 2y, those cancel, so that's the elimination part. And then 12 plus 8 is 20. Well now I have just a one-step equation, 10x equals 20. I'm going to divide both sides by 10, and I get x equals 2. Well again, the whole point is to get an x and a y. Well once I get an x value, then I can plug it back into either one of the, the original equations and solve for y. So I'm just going to randomly pick the top one. So I know my x is 2, so I'm going to take the x out and substitute in the 2. And then minus 2y equals 12. And now it's just a two-step equation solving for y. So 3 times 2 is 6. Minus 2y equals 12. So then the two-step equation, I'm going to get rid of the 6 first. And I end up with negative 2y equals 6. And then I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2. So my y equals negative 3. So for this, the ordered pair, that is the solution set, is the point 2, negative 3. That is where these two lines cross. And that is the solution to this system of equations. Let me try one more. Now, the new one, the one that I'm going to do right now, sometimes you have to uh, rearrange and multiply through a value to, to create where you have one positive, one negative of the same value. So let me get the equation. <coughs> Okay, so here's a new equation. This is still a system of equations. I have 9x minus 3y equals 24, and I have 11x plus 2y equals 1. Well, the, the thing that I want you to look for is a positive and a negative, so always look for that first. Um, it does not matter which one you eliminate. You can eliminate either x or y. doesn't matter. Um, just pick the one that's easiest to eliminate. Well, in this case, I have a negative 3y and a positive 2y. So since these are already negative and positive or opposite signs, I'm going to use um, those two values to eliminate. So what I have to do is I have to look at this and go, okay, how can I get these to be the exact same value, one negative, one positive? Well, if I just multiply by the opposite, so if I multiply this by 2, I get negative 6. If I multiply this one by 3, I get positive 6. So what you're going to do is you're going to multiply through the entire system or the entire equation by the same number. All that does is it changes what it looks like. The value is the same because I'm multiplying everything through by 2 on the top and everything through by 3 on the bottom. So I end up with a new set of equations. So when I multiply this through by 2, I get 18x minus 6y equals 48. This one, I'm going to multiply everything through by 3. So I get 33x plus 6y equals 3. So make sure you hit 
and multiply every single term, otherwise it won't stay balanced. And now I have a new system of equations. I have a negative 6y and a positive 6y. When I add, right, when I add these two systems, 18x and 33x, I get 51x, my y's go away, and over here, 48 plus 3 is also 51, and then I'm going to divide both sides by 51, so my x equals 1. Again, I'm not quite done, I still need the y value. So I'm going to plug this back into one of the originals. Always go back to the original because you know there's no mistakes here. I may have made a mistake over here, but here I know there's no mistakes. So I'm just going to take this x equals 1 and plug it back into one of the originals. And again, it does not matter which one. You could have plugged it into this one and you'd get the same answer. And I'll actually show that to you. So 9 minus 3y equals 24. Two-step equation, subtract 9. I end up with negative 3y equals 16, right? I can't do math. 9, 10, 15, sorry, 15. Okay, and then I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3. So I get y equals a negative 5. So my solution is 1, negative 5. Now, if I plugged it into the other one, I'll show you. I'm going to get the exact same answer. You'll see I'll get negative 5. So if I plug my x equals 1 back into the second one, 11 times 1 is 11 plus 2y equals 1. I'm going to subtract 11 from both sides. So I get 2y equals negative 10. Divide both sides by 2, and I still get y equals negative 5. So that just shows you can do either one. Doesn't matter which, which equation you plug it back into. As long as you plug it back into the original one, you'll be good to go. And that's elimination.